Okay guys and welcome to another video with me, I love pink and today I'm going to show you how I edit, no, how I cut out my PNGs and I've told you guys before that I don't like cutting out my PNGs but there are times that I feel like doing it, I feel so productive, I feel like I can do stuff and yeah, you ever have those moments because I do and I just want to cut out my own PNGs and especially when it's easier to cut and sometimes you can't find a certain PNG of that image so you have to make do yeah so with this tutorial i'm just going to try it out i'm going to show i'm going to show you how to do it using a what do i call this a screenshot of my sim as you all know i love the sims form it's my life i'm just gonna use it because it's easier to cut <laughs> because uh when in real images i get annoyed with cutting out hair especially when it's all over the place it's been, especially when it's all over the place and I just can't deal with that and if I can't deal with things I just don't do it so I just go to the internet and search for a PNG of that image but today I'm going to show you how to do this so first you're gonna get your image duh and I already have mine and I'm just gonna zoom in starting from the corner no not really the corner start from the edge of the image so next you're gonna get your pencil which is right over here and you're just gonna start making dots like this pretty simple okay so there are times when you have to curve things so you have to just click and drag it like so and if you don't like the shape that it was you can go you can go to the history and go back a couple of actions and or it, you could just go Control z and basically you're just gonna repeat that step over and over until the end and this can be tedious if you know it is tedious especially if you're detail oriented and your image is so detailed that there's so many creases there's so many curves and you just have to get it all there so yeah i'll get back to you after i'm done i'm just gonna speed this up Okay, so at the end of it, you're just gonna go and connect it or you could just double click it. So the last dot could connect to the first dot. So you're gonna go right click and make selection and just press OK. And just go, I just went Control J to duplicate the layer and I'm going to fill the background so you can see what it looks like. So I'm not quite satisfied with the lighting of the image so I'm just gonna go to the adjustments and if you don't have it you can go open the window tab right here and then make sure the adjustments is checked and i'm just gonna go to curves and i'm just gonna brighten the picture up because i think the time of day when this image was taken i think it was too early in the morning so that's why it's a bit dark you yeah, do basic adjustments on your png because sometimes it's not what we want so yeah that's a really good explanation so that's basically it i hope this video is helpful for you guys and yeah so be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video and subscribe for more videos i'm trying to upload every week but i can't i'm stressed and i feel like i'm dying but yeah um so tell me what the audio also sounds like because I'm recording the voiceover using my phone because I don't know why but I need a new laptop and a new microphone because everything is not working and I hate it and I'm crying. Okay, bye. Bye!